Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Sector, where we are in a very bright area in the game because we're next to Yellow Star here. And we have these prospectors over here that have a dram. I'd really like to grab a dram. Although, we do have like the whole Zuon system and a whole bunch of other things. I'm not really welcome here, but I don't know if anyone's going to shoot me on sight. I do want to take a look at my fleet though, because we have America Titan, we have Anna Kessler, we have... Assign captain. It could be you. It could be anybody. Anyway, if we look over here at um, these ships, we have the light machine gun and all these things. Um, it's a. It's got a lot of good stuff going for it, especially with the uh, Star Federation weapon. I do have some questions about this ship because I didn't realize it had safety overrides on it. Now, don't get me wrong. 211 is an amazing speed, but it only has a rail gun on it, and we can do better with the weapons. I'm pretty sure. We're not carrying a lot of good weapons right now, but, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. But we can do um, a lot better right here for now. So auto assign that, that's fine. And then we have this ship, which is not really prepared to do as much. Oh, we can actually potentially put a halberd beam on there for 14. Would I rather do that? I mean, it's a universal slot. And while a heavy mauler is okay, I kind of suck at aiming. And it's good versus armor versus this having an 8.9 move. It hits like a truck. You know what? Let's try it. Let's let's put the let's put the halberd beam on this and just say, you know what, we're gonna go crazy. Now, one thing that kind of sucks about doing this outside of a space station is that our combat readiness is low. So we're not going to be able to take on these things right away. I mean, it's just a few frigates. How hard can it be? I've said that a few times already. And um, as we've seen, that a few frigates can still be deadly, even if it doesn't look like a lot of stars. So that's a little bit of a problem, and I need just a moment here. All right, so once again, we do have a few goals here as we're exploring, by the way. We are on sort of the outskirts of the system and while it's fun to think about all these little star clusters that are over here and that second dram would do a lot for my exploration exploration range i'm looking to for two things gates and um loots so i kind of want to look over here but i really want to check out this triple black hole system that has a bunch of other stuff kind of puts us back where we were because we have a few gates we have a pretty healthy amount of gates over to the left. I don't know about the southern part of the map though, so let's get a little closer, see if we're going to get shot down. Famous, famous words here. So we have, we know there's a fleet up there. It looks like there's something by Sabat. So let's see what that's all about. This is just an arid, lifeless world. There's probably nothing on it. We don't even have the crew to get it. That's one thing I need to double check is the actual like crew numbers. We have um, Colonial Expansion for the Councilist. Okay. The people that uh, like me so much, they won't even tell me where they are. All right. We got a bunch of tiny shit. All right. I think I'm gonna risk over here while we're over here and see if we can get a little bit closer. Like, there's a hostile planet. There's a hostile fleet that's pursuing us. Well, that's not exciting. I guess I was like, hey, there's possibly scrap there, but now we're just gonna go away here. Uh, do I try to fight them? We got two fleets available. This would be a kind of a dumb way to uh, do this, but we're gonna um, try to talk a way out of it. Because there's, like I said, if I could maybe take on two of them, and some of these would be good too, to be honest, but... I'd rather not have the trouble. So that's a little bit of carelessness on my end. Very, very exciting way to start the episode here. But we'll earn more story points as we do more exploration. So I guess I could check back over here. I kind of want to, now that we have our combat readiness back, I would, I kind of do want to see over here. Do we still have the Reuter prospectors doing their thing or did they leave? They might still be here, but they might be on the other side. Okay. Did we catch that debris field last episode? Looks like we might have. And, um... I don't know where they went. Oh, we got... Huh. 
So we missed our chance at some drams. Okay, well. Fortunately, those will be around in other systems. I know for some of you who are itching for me to do some combat, and uh, when I jump back, I may end up getting, since I have a few more mud skippers, I may start doing some exploration with my combat ships in tow. Let's see here. I think I am going to go right instead of left. I know it's doubling back on where we are, and it's a pity that we're here. But there is a gate that we can jump from over at Ledia if we want to start doing that. And the, these clusters may bear a little more fruit for us. Let's see. Plus, it does let us move the opposite way against the slipstream. Alright, so... We're not the fastest thing since sliced bread out here in space. Which means remnant wardos are definitely going to be an issue. We haven't seen what's in here. Uh-oh. I did... I, it's like any time I say Ordos, I, it's like, who dares summon me? Anyway, we have an Azure world, a desertic world, which is right there. We may not have a super safe way to get out. Other question is, do I actually want to survey this planet? Usually... Well, we have the mod now that'll tell us if there's ruins around here, and... It's not even like a desert world that's habitable. So all we're doing here, I guess, is trying to... Oh, we got a... We got a... We got a blip out here. And this is... A weapons cache. That's really nice. Okay. And in that weapons cache, we have a minigun blueprint. Breach. We had two breach and... Um, uh, heavy machine guns. So overall, not super exciting. You can't double tap those. Let's go dark out here and see if we can run away from an Ordo. Okay, so they're looking for me. So we're just going to try to slide to the right. Because clearly they're going a different direction than we are. So there we go. Do I even give this non-system system the time of day? It does have one planet. Let's chart it. We're boldly going, I guess, right? Alright, so... Not too much here. Courtesy ping, and we move on. I said, big thing I'm looking for is gates. And we're not always we're not always getting them. So, do I try to go down here? We did. Where have we explored? We have the Auroran Federation. We could potentially sell to some pirates here. Um, where are they located? They're near Fringe Jump Point. And we got somebody just north of us. Um, are they pursuing us, or is it a space ghost? Um, it's a space ghost. All right, let's let's visit. It's not so much friendlies as they don't hate us. And at this stage of the game, I'll definitely take that. So, wow, that was not what I wanted to have happen. Hopeful Dram, sorry you got punched. I have gotten some other ship name suggestions, which is exciting. Why is this thirteen some things away? Is this just like one of those giant systems? Not really. And we're going to keep our transponder off, because that's what we're doing in this save. Hiding, laying low, spending 4,800 credits per month. Like, getting a reliable income stream is going to be important, but that's, that's part of what the exploration is. It's here to pay the bills. All right. So let's see what we got over here. No description yet. I love it. Alright, do we have much of anything to sell? We have some weapons. We have some materials. We have some transplutonics. Got a shit ton of supplies. Looks like we need some more fuel. Alright, so we can sell these things. Honestly, we can probably sell the LPCs too, but we'll give them breach blueprints, which they immediately learn. Fun times. 
give them this. Like I said, we're good on supplies. We're actually so good on supplies, it's kind of to the detriment of our cargo hold. All right, repairing ships is good. Dockside bar is good. Underworld bounties. What's a more manageable target look like? That is not a manageable target. Okay, um, hello, gaudy person. They want one of our frigates. I could probably give away one of our frigates. Do we give the, the Hound? That's one of our starter ships. We haven't really been using it too much. It does have 75 cargo, so. Um, and then they have the game table again. Everybody wants to play games with us. Com directory. We do have not much else. All right. Well. And we have a decommissioned space habitat. Aurora Federation. All of these goodies. And then an independent planet to boot that we are not going to visit. So there's our beautiful skybox in the background. And we're just going to try to carry on like... Nothing ever happened. And maybe find some other ships along the way. Like I said, as factions start fighting and we can, like, go into more scrap heaps, that'll be good. But even like that two-star ship, we can't, we can't mess with that right now. Oh, we actually potentially got a ping down here. Okay, we don't. That's just... Some people flying around. Oh, damn. Why are you looking for my fleet? Okay, we're gonna hide over here. So, it's it's fun. Okay, so Epsilon Newton 3. Epsilon Newton 3. Probably, because if I, I was told in a comment, you know, you should really look for these people. Do, 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 do. Still never made that mod to alphabetize these automatically, but. Alright, LM. Uh, what? Let's try this. Okay. Are we still alphabetized? E. I must have misread it. Epsilon the Spareth. I swear to God, if they're colonizing that system, I mean, that makes them really easy to find. Let's look at our intel real quick. So, Shadow Yards, Mice, or. Uh... Okay. Whew. But we know where to find them now, I guess. All right, so that threat's over. Could try to jump into here real quick. This is an unexplored system. Oh, that threat is not over. Why are there so many of you? What did I ever do to you? Oh boy. And we've got Agni Shoals, so we are immediately gonna go dark. Because Agnes, Agnes are bad news. About as bad news as having some remnant ordos just trying to hang out around um, space where we are. So it's it's funny how this works. We have all this exploration, and you think, okay, it's not that dangerous. It's not that bad. We can go fast. Not only can we not go that fast, we're not finding as much stuff. Every system that we go to is a web of nightmares. Did the did the Ordo ever find us? No, we kind of vanished. Um, no, they kind of went up there. So they're still looking for me. They're like, where'd you go? Nowhere. You didn't just fade out of existence. So this is a red beacon. I am still going to attempt to poke. We can jump into the star system, but we're going to jump in dark. Because I want to see what's in here. 
Oh my god. So we have a faction now and they they apparently really like us. So we're going to go we're going to go visit them. They they colonized a barren world though, which is um very exciting. So this is the faction that just appeared emerged out of nowhere and ruined our relationship with Legio. Who knew? Um so we have a debris field right here. We have the Agni shit right here. We have all kinds of terrors. And we have a sensor array down here too. So minor weapons cache. That's cute. Really nothing else doing here. Where's this minor weapons cache? Up here. Nice. Okay. I feel like we haven't been there because that is also a danger system. Oh, hey. They're basking. They have not seen us. We do not want these guys to see us. Like, we, we really, really... They saw us. Okay, new new emergency plan here. Is that we are going to try to run like hell. Um so let me let me tell you a story about these guys real quick. Cuz they were they were just basking, we were dark, they saw us. Um I'm 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 panicking. That's why I'm flipping through menus right now. So we have Blue Giant, we're trying to do all this exploration here. Where's the nearest gate? There's an inactive gate in a system that's probably not too great. But if we can make it to that gate and possibly jump away... There's probably a reason I didn't activate that gate, to be honest. But if everybody else is chasing me... Like, we could go to Lethia... We could go to over here. We could go over to Lay. Let's try this. Because if we go over the inner system jump point, it could work out. Okay, so we definitely can't go dark. We're going to have to burn a story point to get away from them. And then we need to try to put as much distance between us and them as possible. And we are not worried about siphoning fuel right now. However... We should be able to use one of our items, right? So distress call, we don't want that. Uh, drive bubble spike drops a drive bubble spike. This spike arms after two seconds. It activates when a hostile fleet enters within there. So we need to be at full speed. All right, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so ready for this. So these guys are going to kill us. The Agni, this ship has suffered extensive damage, which cannot be repaired without a costly restoration. Adult females spend most of their time rearing hatchlings. So that's great. It's just alive. Look at that beautiful eye here. So we have we have seen death stare us in the face. And I've got some bad news for you. Death is like super hungry. See? They're still pursuing our fleet. So we're going to try to drop a drive bubble spike. I don't even know if we got them. Okay, we've got more fighting over here. Now, what I'm hoping is going to happen is that the more we run, and we're running right for this system, um, the, the more we run, the more other shit gets in the way. That's why I was half thinking, if we're getting chased, let's go to the Core Worlds. But you know what? What I probably should check here first is... Since I'm a little less panicked now. Um, my beacon situation. Where's that? Warning beacons. Okay, it's a medium beacon. I think it's worth I think it's worth the risk, considering I'm being chased by like a bunch of hungry aliens. Okay. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even know if the gate's gonna shake them. I will tell you that as much as I, I don't want to spoil things. Um, that is how my test run ended. I got, I got chomped. <laughs> so, okay, we need to get to the inner system jump point. I don't know if we can juke these guys. But we can try. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, is this safe? It's probably not safe. It's safe. And then we have another a domain system defense watchtower. So we got a railgun somewhere. I don't need to get anywhere but to the gate. So exploration canceled. We have an unidentified contact over here. We have an unidentified sensor contact over here. I'm going to go counterclockwise because that's faster. That's away from the unidentified sensor contact. And it probably gives us some... Um, Oh, who's this? They're collecting a stash, so it's just an unidentified regular fleet. Okay, well, this is hopefully going to be a coronal hypershunt over here. We're going to fly through the corona. Yeah, we're going to assume that's a hypershunt. Let's just go ahead and um, do captain's log in the toilet. And as long as we can get out of all these Ordos' range famous last words here we got a whole ship graveyard here can we get through the gate in time we can all right where can we go that's really far away that is really far away but i think i want to go far away within civilization so it's really bad when like corvus or gladia is my idea of a safe spot we could go all the way up to Joy, just take it back to where we started. We do have our other place out here, but I'm kind of curious about um, our people that we can meet. So let's go, let's go up to Joy. Hey, look, by the way, while we're here, Nebula Transport, Taurus Freighter, Mud Skipper Civilian Transport. Oh, and um, a bunch of shit. But hey, I can use the gates. <gasps> Oh, God! Okay. Um, we're here. And unfortunately, all of these are in alignment, but fortunately, that means we could be able to scrap some stuff. So let's just see if we can fly up here. All right. Like I said, I have no idea if I, if I juked the people or not, but in my test playthrough, those Agni chased me. I used, like, five story points. And those Agni chased me until I died. Okay, these guys are not going to be too happy that I don't have a beacon. These guys aren't going to care. We got lots of dead things right here. So we can just do a little bit of scrapping real quick. So trade goods first. The good news is that I'm still alive. So that's definitely goal number one here. Okay, exhale. We need more crew. This is not the best price for crew. We do have some really good options for crew, like Umbra and all that shit, but we're gonna... We don't need a ton of crew. We just need like a hundred more crew. And we're just gonna try to do some uh, searching in a different direction. So I think I am going to sell some of the transplutonics and stuff. I don't know. Some of these machine, some of these guns are good. We're going to get rid of these. Got to keep the Triceratorp. All right, we'll keep, we'll keep the rest of those. All right. So anything, anything else that looks like I need here. We got a bunch of supplies. I can't get I can't get my faster ship right now, but it's fine. So there's Reverie Fortress. That is a scavenger engaged in a battle with Reverie Fortress, who's you guys need to like figure this out, but not not too badly, because I'm happy to profit from this a little bit. Hey look, another mule combat freighter. We can't recover it because we recovered another ship here at the very beginning of the game. Shepherd drone tender, those are actually really good, like early game ships. But we're not going to recover it because we can't. We got the Persian League down here who's kind of pissed about stuff. Probably because they're in a system that has a star named Anguish. Anguish that's being eaten by Joy, by the way. So maybe it's not all that bad. Hey, we're just doing a we're just doing a drive by, drive through, drive something. Frigate and Hound freighter. I mean, we're just, we're just scrap. Oh, cannot recover. 
Okay. That is a really good looking ship that we're gonna, we're gonna tear to pieces. And I am over capped on fuel. So that's... I'm gonna fix that in a minute. So there we go. You'd think if I had all of my ducks in a row, I would have totally been prepared for... By the way, we have the uh, Agni basking in the sun at me. I actually don't have the fuel to get all the way over there, which is a little annoying, but when you only have the one dram, that's how it is. All right. So, Octavia is a place we could go. Where's our new faction? That's Kingdom of Terra. There's P9. There's Epsilon Newton. So let's visit the first group of people that maybe don't want to kill us. Um, okay, and everything that's popping out here now, I'm like, oh my god, is this also trying to kill me? The answer is yes, by the way. And it's going to be really hilarious if I just get waxed by, um, by Agni there. Like, we know you took the gates, we take the gates too. <laughs> All right. But yeah, those certainly look like terrible horrors, as it were. Didn't even seem to care. Oh, Better Brell faction just on a strike mission here. Okay, so we haven't even been to this system yet, so let's take the fringe jump point. And I am going to turn on my transponder here. Is this the place? This is not the place. We're one we're one short. Okay, well we can do a little bit of exploration, maybe. I'm not too fond of the lumens there. We don't have a gate here, so F that. We're losing money, but fortunately we have a lot to sell. Alright. So let's see what we got up here. More things. Guess we check the gas giant and forte and go up here. Because usually when you're looking for like a research facility base or something, if there's a gas giant, it may be in those ring systems. Otherwise, it's going to be in a close orbit around the black hole. Or this could be one of those ones that has nothing, or it could be one that has a Halbmond in it, and then I don't know what I'm dragging around, and I shoot it down or scrap it. Okay. If this is a blank, then it's a blank. It's a... Venture Class Cruiser. And we got we got a ping down here too, so we're not totally out of the we're not totally shit out of luck yet. Um, access to quite a tidy sum of credits, so we are going to begin salvage here just to destroy the evidence. Clearly, somebody's going to come after me and say you took my money, because that's how this always works. Here they come. Perhaps. Oh, did I just miss? Okay, here we go. Okay, they're just... They're just passing through, I guess. So we got unidentified sensor contact over in the rocks. We got this stuff. Weirdly, no research station yet. So that's a hound. I guess people just got in a fight. And we got seven harvested organs. I'm sure they all had their own hopes and dreams before. So let's see who's getting in a punchy match over here. Oh, no! It's the lizard base. Cuckoo Kachu for Reparation Society. Well, we're going to fail that. Alright, let's run. The Reparation Society may not, like, totally hate us, but they're... Oh my god, saturation bombardment. You hivers, man. You've got to chill the F out. 
Okay. And we've got a bunch of shit up here. I guess we've got one more fringe jump point we can go to. But it's possible the research stations are also by over here, but that's just a fight people are having. So who's fighting? Okay. Dormant fleet. An Ethereum militarized racer. A fast picket that's going to murder us. Let's not send it to the Hivers. Um, I'm just gonna salvage. And then let's see what's on the Outer Bounds here. Okay, you're guarding the fringe jump point. Hey, wait! Reparation Society's neutral with us? Hey. I'm used to people just outright wanting to kill me. This is a change. Does that mean the Zan Empire doesn't want to kill me? They probably want to kill me. Hey, look, we got a warning beacon. I'm shocked by this information. Zan Empire wants to kill me. Well, that's good to know. Alright, so we did want to make it down there, but we're going to go just pop into this area real quick. Okie doke. I don't think we had any... Oh, we got a shit ton of pirates here. That's good news. For now. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of gates over here. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything either. Okay, cool. Well, wherever the pirates are, they must be hiding just a, just a touch. Could probably follow this guy to where the pirate base is. Oh my god, we're losing even more money now. That's a sensor array. And this is just a planet. I was thinking they'd fly right there. Okay, so Savage Tribes of Kingdom of Terra have uh, gained a... Oh, scattered ruins. Okay, here I was thinking, la la la, let's just keep going. But since I'm here, may as well. So another place with industrial ruins that we're going to explore and salvage. Now up to 100% salvage, we get a tachyon lance. That's really nice. A Kamal particle dart, also really nice. Nano conditioning compounds, not as nice. But they do, they do, they are effective in their mind control. So that's maybe some ethical problems with um, the history of the Kessler family, especially recent history in terms of uh, how they may have influenced people to involve themselves in experiments. But yeah, we ha we can always sell it to the highest bidder, I guess, if it comes down to it. Okay, let's explore this system, and if this is the one, we're going to need to turn our transponder on. Okay. So these guys are supposedly friends. Let's find out. That's an artificial world and a barren world and a uh, acid world. Your world is made of acid. Now, why would you guys settle on a barren planet other than you're, like, desperate? So we'll have to see. We're just going to ping. We got something by the star. And we got a um, we got a survey barren world mission. That's on the total freaking other side of the map. That's too bad. Okay, what are you? You're at Orbital Lab. I will check you out right now. Okay, so com coming through long broken equipment, we can get blueprints, frigate blueprints. We can get the Shade, which is exciting. We can get the Darnus, which is exciting. Or we can get the Skirt, which is exciting. So Scholar Tech Solutions. Supercharges drive systems, greatly boosting speed and discharging an EMP. That's how I get kicked out of other factions. Um, phases and dashes to a chosen target. Or the Shade. Um, generates Light Arts has five things here. It's an actual phase frigate. I think I'm going to go with the skirt. 
so we'll do that. Now, I've had some suggestions for how I should treat blueprints and stuff like that. So that's a forge template. We may not be able to use the forge templates here, but we can do that. We actually don't know that one. Okay, so I'm getting like all the VPCs that I didn't get last time this time. Okay, we are over overstock.com. So we'll we'll possibly pick up some of this stuff in just a little bit. I may be able to drop off some goodies in the pool. Alright. Gotta double tap. Alright. And we will come back for some of this in just a little bit. Because we should have a friendly market that we can potentially sell to. Artificial planet. I kind of want to survey it anyway. If it doesn't take too much resources, it won't. Class 1. What a garbage dump. Alright. And this may have some space trash on it. It does. So what do we got? Not building a colony. Not doing that. I don't know why I accidentally hit one. Explore the ruins. Ooh. Well, for all the things to get, a hypershunt tap is certainly valuable. And that means that there's a coronal hypershunt within 10 light years of here. So... We have a few candidates. I'm imagining it's Zarit, to be honest, from what we flew past, but it could be Marathon. And if you ever want to know, you, that is something that you can control F in your game save file for uh, hyper shunts. And if you want to spoil it for yourself, I'm not going to judge you. But that is something that's very easy to find. So, friends, what's going on? Why are illegal to trade luxury goods? Okay, we are we can't buy storage. All right, well, let's sell the metal. Let's sell the organs. Let's sell these. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I think story-wise, that's something that we just can't hold on to. So we're just going to cash it out. All right. Now, granted, cashing it out at... A, oh, I forgot we had Marines. That's probably one reason we're um, paying a little more money. So that's very expensive fuel, but we're going to buy it anyway. And let's go up to uh, almost 400. That seems fine. All right. At the dockside bar, you have... You want me to move 32 units of harvested organs down to Gilead? Really? That's going to be a no. It's just not worth my time based on where I'm at. Um, I'm looking for 330 units of organics delivered here. Unfortunately, that's not as much as I found, but that's a really good price. Okay, and unfortunately... I mean, we could potentially just grab that and double up on it. So let's let's give that a try first. And look, there's a there's a picket. So we have we have one available. So where's our cargo pods that are currently not in a stable orbit? As you can tell. Okay, and those metals are just a touch too much. Okay, well, we'll go um, five over this for a little while. Okay, nothing else over here. So we should be able to make enough of a profit just based off of that good sale. Really? Well, we do have the shielded cargo pods, so let's allow the scan. Really? Prepare for inspection. And they tear up our stuff, so that's that's annoying. But 
I mean, we did sell a bunch of shit to the black market, so... They're not wrong. We're gonna buy some more shit off the black market, too. So, open the comm directory. Wow, nobody's there. Um, oh my god, you need 500 units of food. You were just asking for organics, you bastard. Okay, um... Finicky, finicky game. Almost seems like it was... Oh, that's because somebody just immediately came back and delivered organics at the last second. Well, screw that. You take you take this shit and you just have a good time with it. Alright, well... Y'all are technically friends. Can you tell me about where your other shit is? Because here's an administrator. We could want to be commissioned by the Revolutionary Council. And that would solve a lot of our reputation problems, to be honest. We've at least found where they are. But let's explore a little more. We've got, um... We've got some new colonization out here. Let's see, let's see how we can do this. Because like I said, I just don't want to be chased down by, um... Terrible hyper thing, not hyper things, but terrible space monsters. All right. So let's just kind of do a little circle here because we can refuel. Let's go down and then up. We'll just do the we'll just do the little clump and hopefully not die in the process. Hopefully not go completely broke in the process either, although we did just make some good money. Alright. So, no gates here. Good to know. Also, really convenient that I could gate out of, um, while getting pursued. <laughs> It's a very useful meaning for gates here, so warning beacon. It's medium, but as you see, there is some value of trying to check these systems, even if it's a little dangerous. Okay, did I just three instead of two? I did. Okay, it means we're not looking in that one right away. Maybe we can. Jumping in the star system. So those are dormant. And we just gotta notice here diplomatic ceasefires between Parson, Pearson, everybody else. So not too much here that we're gonna explore. This is probably a burnt mess of planets. Or maybe there's a gate here and it's all very good. It's a burnt mess of planets. Okay, well. And probably not too much here either. But this is why we're exploring really hard, just to see what we can find. Oh my god. We don't wanna this is another this is another minefield. We have an arsenal station. Look, we didn't we didn't fly through very hard. So tell me, Arsenal Station, explore. Oh! While making a preliminary assessment, your salvage crews find a seemingly strange automated ship factory. There's no indication of what we'll be able to build with the hull parts. I love these things. Um, um, I'm going to put Arsenal Builder here. So when I get some other ships, and eventually I'm going to have some junk ships that I can throw in there. The more deployment points we get, we can get some shit that you otherwise can't get here. So we can since we can get ships from events, that would be that'd be good. But yeah, it turns out, and I bet that's at the other place with the other minefield. May not be too much else over here though. So a burnt husk of a system, but not a waste of time. One more ping, just to check. But yeah, I don't have the ships to throw into that just yet. But I will, eventually. 
That's the fun part about the early part of Star Sector runs is that you got to get that momentum. That good old Mo rolling. Okay, so let's see if these guys down here have anything worth my time. It's a double star system that's probably... Um, probably not the safest. We had a ceasefire offer from somebody? No, it's a colonial expedition. So they're fighting all these habitable planets. I guess technically I've I've done so many times where I've been racing to colonize stuff. We do have a jungle world here. No gate. It's actually fairly pretty. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that jungle planet. I still want when I colonize my one planet that I'm allowed to colonize, I want it to have a gate in it. But we are gonna survey. There we go. So a very good place to live. Just not a good place for work. Oh, it's you. Well, I guess we'll go the other way. Everybody just wants to probe me. Definitely, maybe. All right. Also, I don't know what's here, other than I didn't get buzzed for that ship. We do have an actual just barren world, so. Our supply count not as high as I remember it being, but we have done a few surveys. So I at least, um, I don't know if I want to go down into that nebula. We're going to kind of stick up here for a minute for just searching. Okay, still no gates. We do have a Terran world and an artificial world. Well, it's all actually kind of bundled up over here. That can be really good or that can be really terrible. But we do have our beautiful Jovian style planet. We do have some ruins on the Terran world. We actually have ruins on two of these. If we look a little closer. So Dreadnought. Um Someone's hailing our ship. Let's answer the hail. A ship, a ship, gods, we are glad to see you for the longest time. I've been lying over here. So we have a large stock of transplutonics. Yeah, I'll, I'll make that trade. Because it's not too bad for us to go back and get stuff later. So are y'all going to tell us about the um, ruins that are here? Maybe. We can recover a ship. It's a vigilant supply frigate. I'm going to not do that. Although I could probably use it. Because there may be other ships around. Hey look, a nanite repair module. Hey look, a Zontac frigate package. It's kind of, for extensive ruins, it's kind of disappointing. To be honest. Maybe the artificial planet has more. We have another hail. Hello, another ship. So you guys have just been hanging out in the same orbit here, unable to talk here. Uh, we got boys with fancy guns. All right, so recently arrival camp stole something of great value, an atmospheric water condenser. So if we accept it, we can raid. Raid strength, 49.50. We can recover this, so let's do that. Launching a raid. We lost two Marines. Hey, less payroll, but we got a story point. And we got 67 transplutonic ore. And survey says extensive ruins. Maybe these ruins won't be so annoying here. Discover a working console. Give me access to deposit quite a tidy sum of credits. Let's access. We got 5,000 credits. I guess that is a tidy sum, and over here we get forced overdrive, converted hangers, another nanite repair module. 
So, a blunderbuss, which is good, although apparently nerfed. You know, I'm um, a little annoyed, to be honest. You get big ruins and extensive ruins, and all I have to show for it is um, not the not the best stuff. So we have some metals that we're not going to keep, some ship components we're not going to keep. Just learn learn some things. Going to have to sell that. Although I'd love to know, like, have the forge template available. And this would definitely be a um, very curious system. It has, it's these, these are both decivilized, but this would be, if I was, um, like, colonizing places, this would be a great system. But A, I'm not in position to do that, and B, I'd only get one planet, and C, there's no gates. I feel like it's really tough that I'm being so picky, but there's such a big difference between having a gate available in system versus even having to go over just a few systems. And it's one of those things where if I'm limited to just one, I might as well pick the right one. Okay, so we have a radiated and barren world. Not much here. There may be more later. And then more. Like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit guess and check, guess and check. More planets that are on fire. More ships that are just not appearing in systems. But it's okay. I'm not really hey, bombardment forces arrived in system again. Rama. Not Rama one half, just Rama. I kind of want to see what it is, and I kind of know it's going to be a trap. But I kind of want to see what it is anyway. Oh, that's a... What? We've got hivers over here already? Damn. Okay, get me out of here. So the hivers, they're, they're approaching fast. Okay. And this is a medium warning beacon. So this could be a trap. It's probably a trap. We're going to jump in anyway. Oh boy. Hostile. Dormant. We got debris field. We got an inactive gate. The problem is we got neighbors right next to it. We got an auric world. Is that literally like gold? Yeah, often composed of gold, but difficult to collect given how deep gravity well of their size. So this is a really good system. If I can come back here, and unfortunately there's only one place available. So... Let's see if we can get out of here in a hurry, because unfortunately the patrol is just right there. So, peace out. But we found a gate. As usual, they just happen to have like a distress beacon and be jerks about it. Oh, there's a tundra world there too. Yeah, that could be... That could be it, honestly. We're going to do that. Captain's log, potential system. And this is where, if I could transverse jump... It could be like really easy for me to jump through, but since I have to go in through that gate, or I not necessarily going through that gate. You know what? I could actually try that. Um, if I got enough fuel, I could really go in. Okay, we are jumping in here because these guys are coming after me right now, and we'll give them a minute to not be able to find me. Maybe all I have, but. Yeah, that's, that's ruins. It's hard to spot with the starscape in the background sometimes. Scattered ruins. Like I said, we just want a good treasure roll. 
Oh, we got another bomb. Over cargo capacity by 12. Oop, that's a little more than 12. Guess we were over our cargo capacity by a little more than 12. Maybe I can't read. Maybe it was like 120. All right. So not too many other pings. I should probably go dark when exiting this system. So we are dark. There's another blue thing over here. And we have some more of these stars. Right now, Rama, Rama is looking really interesting to me. Especially if I can activate the gate and just go in through the gate instead of worrying about the fringe jump point and having to blockade run it all the time. This could be good. These, maybe not as much. There is one stable location, and there is a sensor array that's already available. So, it checks some boxes. Here we are. Okay, and I, I missed the hole. Happens to everyone all the time. Maybe not. Okay. Alpha Newark? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Dust World, not much doing there. And I kind of just want to poke my head in one more time into another planet. And I think what the plan's going to be is just to try to resupply. Damn it. Could you guys, like, stop chasing me? Really? Okay, well, we have to use a story point for this. Okay. Um, we're going to get some sweet, sweet bonus experience at some point. But, yeah, it's annoying that um, my e-burns are so slow. We have another gold planet. And it's got some shit around it, so we're going to go dark. Someone's probably looking for us because we pinged. So it is one glimmer patrolling. Clearly, we got a mining station too. And we got a something else. Okay, so widespread ruins. Fortunately, we can go dark and perform a survey. There's more to civilized stuff here. So that's exciting. Class 5 planet. Bountiful farmland. Um, I think I do get a mud skipper from this. That's fine. So anything we can do for more storage space here. Ugh. The disappointment continues as much as I enjoy the Avalancher as an item. It looks like that guy's not as interested in me right now. Oh, we do have an automated defense. That is also a glimmer. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to think about this for a minute because this ship could be... Pretty nasty, especially when it has bonus maneuverability. I think this is a decent place to stop. Plus, we have an automated defense. We have the other thing going on here. But we have a, we have a colonization candidate. It's just a challenging one. We do have friends nearby. Unfortunately, we potentially also have hivers nearby. <laughs> so it could be a spicy place to go. And we are kind of in commitment mode once I... Once I settle there, I'm settled there. And it's not one of those, hey, you know, we can always um, just take someone else's planet later. It is The idea is for it to just be a one planet challenge. I think for what I have available, I'm going to do missile specialization. And I may actually... Did I just make it elite on accident? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make it elite. So that's exciting, but that's going to do it for this one. This is Asher. 
we've got we've got some business to take care of here that's for sure so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it we'll do this again soon i'm still alive despite uh, my best efforts of running for my life y'all take care <laughs>